recording. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Rainbow Tickles. Rainbow Tickles. Such high energy. Um, been a huge, huge activation um, this last week or two. Um, every day, every day, every day, everything is shifting and um, pumping it up, pumping it up. So excited. Um, how is everybody feeling? Hope everybody's doing well and moving through these beautiful new ascension energies. Um, the accelerated fast track that some of us are on is really fast. <laughs> Things are changing really fast. And we're so excited that we get to be a part of this ride for you all. I'm um, setting your intention every day um, for um, just experiencing greater magic, experiencing more of who you are, um, experiencing more magic within the world, seeing your reality as healed, seeing your reality as coming together, seeing your reality as um, those aspects that you'd like to explore. Um, the majesty of the many worlds, the magic of the many worlds, um, as much as you can imagine is is available for exploration. Um, it's available for expression. It's available for the experience. So really know that um, we're infinite beings really being um, offered new ways to move forward and get excited to move forward. Um, today, we're, it's just going to be really short. I had um, a, a channeled um, philosopher that um, in our earlier time, Socrates, Socrates is part of my soul family and comes through with um, another philosopher that is part of my soul family too. I've got a lot of philosophers in my family. Um, and so um, it's interesting when I get downloads and channels from them, um, perhaps um, oftentimes you can um, sense who they are. So Socrates is one of them, gave me a little download today. And so I'm very grateful for the beings that are in my soul family reincarnated and doing new work and new ways for humanity. Um, and helping us from um, other frequencies and other dimensions because it's all right now all the timelines are right now and we get to um, inspire ourselves to be um, guides and help to those that we think are on a past life but they're really now just on another timeline another thread another vibration everything's happening right now might be a bit mind-bending for some but it is actually truth <laughs> i'm not here to prove it to you it's just a truth I got to work through your own beliefs and your own stigmas about what you think time and space are because it's not what you think. <laughs> We're going through a huge multiverse ascension right now. So um, some beautiful clients that I've had experiences with, uh, many of their, their paths are fast tracking. So I'm so grateful to be a part of it because when I channel for those clients that come to see me, I really get um, their teams come forward and their souls come forward. And we have a group experience where we're expanding. And so really those quantum experiences where we're allowing each other, um, you know, those accesses of what their soul's goals are, the vocational alignment sessions that I offer. I think there are classes of four um, for 500 US, I think. Um, and I think they're 45 minutes long. I can't remember. I'm going to be getting my website up soon. Um, so if you're into vocational alignment sessions, let me know. I am a creative consultant, so I help um, redesign any 3D businesses, um, move into a 5D experience as we're being aligned with um, the Christ consciousness, the new grids, new explorations of your gifts, your skills, and your talents that you're meant to explore and how you're meant to kind of grow into them. And it is really valuable, um, those sessions, because as I said, every session is different. Every session we build upon the next. Um, we're culminating past um, sessions with new sessions. And again, every, um, we download and we channel with the teams and the guides as to your soul's blueprint, what you're being offered in the highest and the greatest good, what is coming for humanity, because they see what's coming for humanity, what's needed for humanity on the global grander scale, as well as the multidimensional collective, meaning the galactic alien celestials and the heavenly councils and all the light programs that we work with. So that's why those vocational sessions are so important because it's a session, it's it's a four, it's a package of four um, um, classes that you have specifically with me. And we design those classes at your own pace, what you want to explore, how you can design um, your offerings in a more higher vibrational manner that will serve the collective on a more uh, um, refined route of offering and service and reception, receptivity. Because they've been showing me lately that um, this new experience that we're having in 5D um, is going to be about um, equal, equal recipro reciprocity. I always have trouble with that word. Equal return 
on everything that you offer, meaning that as you're off for those of us that are teachers, healers, and leaders, and any other service that you so choose, when you're offering something, there should be not as much work as there was before. So we're going to be learning in this fifth dimensional experience to work smarter, not harder, and really refine what you're offering so that you get you get pullback as well. Because when you're offering something, it should be from your highest and your best. It should be from that excitement portal so that you always feel energized and, and giving in that process because you're receiving too. So that's what the vacational sessions will help you refine and help you determine how much time and energy and effort can you save. We say time. We're talking about shifting your understanding of what time is, how you can offer something in less time but get more impact. And because you're using light, because you're working with light, because you're working with the highest alignment to how to serve the collective and also have your needs met, as well as excitement, fulfillment, nourishment, um, creativity, all of those things that make up longevity of a business. Longevity of a business is not having a great product. Longevity of a business is ensuring that your creative juices will always be eternally expanding because then you'll know that there will always be shifting and changing and navigating around the changing collective. Our collective is going through ascension. So the collective is going to be changing. What might be an entertainment idea right now is not what it's going to be in two months. Like that's how fast we're changing. So businesses and corporations and medicine and every aspect of our reality is going to have to change and modify. Um, so I am a creative consultant that helps with that. Um, and it is a benevolent service so that the teams and the guides will be gathering and offering the highest vibrational information as to what the collective needs and requires. There will be no middlemen or red tape to move around. There will be things that will be need to be modified, taken out, moved around so that we're realigning our mindset as to what is the new idea of time. Well, it's a matter of playing more and working less because you're aligning straight with spirit and you're offering straight with spirit. So there's not going to be a lot of um, extra play involved. <laughs> The extra play will be into healing and nourishing your body so that you're going to continue to release what needs to be released so that you can incorporate greater light. And so the businesses will have to do that as well. They're not going to have as long work days. They're going to be less work days, but higher vibrational offerings because the higher vibrational offerings will be done through light as light with light um, as above, so below, as within, so without, so that it's a faster, more efficient experience. And we say ex efficient, but it doesn't mean again time. It means that you're offering more quality higher quality higher vibrational experiences and therefore you're getting paid equally so it's a benefit for you and we say equally meaning that um, again spiritually soulfully are you being fulfilled so soul fulfillment is going to be a very big part of the equation on 5d business alignment on 5d co-creations on 5d vocational alignments and so that's what we'll be talking about in the vocational alignment sessions and there's a package of four i think it's for 500 us <clears throat> which is huge savings because normally they're 200 for 90 minutes for one session. Um, so that's the savings that you get, but it is directly aligned to now that I have these gifts, how can I offer something based on what the 5D collective needs? How can I be of my highest service? How can I realign my services and my offerings? How can I change up what I'm doing? Um, and then you get to change and modify your websites, modify your alignments, and then have greater play time with your teams and your guides. Cause we're meant to keep evolving into um, expanding into first contact. How can we incorporate what we're doing in our world to help, prepare ourselves for galactic and first contact and first connections. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things that I'm really excited to get involved with. And one of them is, um, is health and beauty tips. Um, and so um, I'm really excited um, to be offering that because I love um, working with divine feminine. I'm a part-time stylist. So I love um, getting involved with fashion, um, different styles of fashion helping women find their energy of playfulness within and to help rebuild their energy and beliefs about who they are, what they feel they can wear and not wear and, and really eliminating and transforming and transmuting all those old outdated beliefs um, about, about um, how we can present ourselves. We are beautiful vessels of spirit and we're and it's an ongoing presentation of who we are to the world, who we are to creation. As I was told in my, one of my very first channels was that we are going to be known by our light. And so how we present ourselves, what is our unique story? What is it that we stand for? What is our unique story that we can be really um, excited and, and genuine about? What's that authentic offering? And it can be in any way and anything. And most often that I know, when I hear from, from all the clients that I deal with, is their um, really low self-esteem and low um, self-enjoyment and low self-honoring self of their body. And that's most of what we work on as stylists is, 
is just breaking those molds of old um, outdated boundaries and borders of who we are as women, what we're allowed to feel and what we're allowed to work with and what we're allowed to dress and style ourselves as. And it's really um, infinite and eternal. We're meant to play with the energies of our ever evolving body and state and transition of life. We're meant to play with different colors and textures. We're meant to allow ourselves to show our body regardless of how old we are and not in a way that degrades us or devalues us, but we're meant to really love our bodies and be rich with our bodies and be sincere with our bodies and have that as the presentation of the world, not as that my body is better than yours or my body is more toned than yours or I have more abs than you do. The very superficial ideas and ideals of what we thought, you know, having a beautiful body is all about. Having a beautiful body is being in love with it. You know, having a beautiful body is showing yourself that you're in love with your body, regardless of what anyone else thinks about it, because those are old ideals and superficial, you know, rules and obligations and expectations that don't really suit who we are as being rich in spirit. So rich in spirit is loving all that you are because your matter body is spirit. And so it's that reconnection of who we are and really having fun and playing as yourself as this beautiful experience where you get to play with clothes again you get to play with ideas and you get to play with the richness of fabrics we're going to be coming up with better quality clothing that really um, honor the environment and value the environment and our bodies and how our bodies want to breathe and be more harmonious in fabric and so that's going to be a big part of how we're seeing things change in the future not necessarily wearing things with a big name pressed across it that feeds a company's ego but it's going to be about socio-altruistic how can we be involved with really great quality clothing that don't hinder the experience of anybody involved? So it will be a more fair, again, everything is aligned with, with spirit. Um, and there's no judgments on any of it because it's what we've enjoyed and it's what we've, we've moved through. But it's time to create differences that are more beneficial for our 5D alignment, which is caring for all life. All life is sacred. All animals, um, all beings, um, all children, all voices. And we have that right to express and explore and experience ourselves at every step of the way and to be fully excited in it. And so that's the four E's of ascension that we're now stepping into. Everyone has that birthright to explore who they are, to experience who they are, to express who they are through the purity of their joy and the excitement. And that is the alignment of the sacred Christ, which is the holy child, the sacred child inside. So allow yourself to play more. And that's what the creative alignment sessions are as a creative consultant, as a stylist, as a um, um, having input and um, um, healing medicinal properties um, that I can sense into and tune into as I'm tuning into people's fields and auras and timelines and Akashic records and the states of their body and their mind um, because it's all harmonized as a multi-dimensional vessel. Um, I'll also be playing a part in epidemiology for the collective and different collectives of children. For their DNA is different than our DNA. There's many, many programs going on our planet that have been aligned with the greatest um, um, you know, programs of heavenly evolution, um, because many of these children have been brought forward in the highest vibrational essence so that they can help evolve humanity in the highest ways. So they're so very genius in all that they are. And to allow them their highest level of creativity and exploration expression is one of the ways that we're healing our planet so that we're releasing old conformed ways of subjugation. Subjugations about who we are in our divine and masculine, masculine and feminine energies. And each person is responsible to healing that of, the, of themselves, for themselves. Nobody is responsible for knowing your timelines are going into your kosher, switching the kosher, switching any of those ridiculous things that we've talked about in the past um, that those think that they can and cannot do as far as controlling anyone to help anybody um, else out so that they don't, <clears throat> so that they're not held back, whatever those stories were and judgments and, and wants and needs of those that are unhealed and the selfish games that have been played. Um, those will no longer be apart because people are awakening and understanding the claiming of their own consciousness, the claiming of their own light and energy so that they're firmly standing in the balance and the love of who they are. And they're claiming all that they are harmonizing all their soul fragments and not allowing any of the old karmic stories to play in this new now. And so that's about your daily self care. Are you aligning with who you are in this now moment, knowing your now story, releasing what was, and it's that constant quick realignment of who you are. Allow the emotions to move through you and then realign to who you are now. And that's why knowing thyself is of the greatest intention for you. You're not going to be surrendering to anyone else's story. You're not going to be surrendering to a collective, um, you know, fear that might be going on because a few things happen in the collective. Everything is purposefully unfolding so that the corruption and all that was dark, dark can be pulled up to the surface. 
how are we going to start restructuring all of our socio systems? They have to be restructured. They have to be realigned to the highest level of benevolence. And that's what these unfoldings and these social burps really are calling all that was not necessary, calling all that was corrupt and really clearing and cleansing it out so that we're aligning with the highest level of benevolence. And everybody has a unique soul path and soul destiny and spirit and their higher self and their soul chooses exactly when they leave and how they leave. That's a soul document. It's a soul blueprint. It's their own soul's choice because there's other realms and other things that they choose to play on. So it's not to anyone to ever interfere with anybody's soul path, but only honor it and appreciate it because they're playing a part in the lesson that you must learn to allow yourself to focus yourself within, stay in your own lane and allow others to be um, their own highest and best so that you can remain as vibrant and beautiful as you are. And you're just merely setting, setting your own standards and you're setting a template for, no, this is how I choose to be. Now I will stand on my voice and I will speak it. This is what I'm really passionate about. I know I'm a great healer. I know I'm a great teacher. So let's get busy. And so you can set those new paradigms of exploration. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> and so let's talk about what, um, and so that is also um, allowing you to be prepared for first contact. Because as we said, things are going to be accelerating. So how is it that you are offering yourself in new accelerated ways so that you're aligned, that continued refinement as you're going up and out into the expanse of creational reality? You're also allowing the densities from the lower vibrational worlds to your safety and your co-creative expression and your sexual expression be done in a safe and honoring way so that you're valuing all that you are as a beautiful divine being. And your heart is the center point of the higher worlds and the higher worlds are constantly harmonizing those higher vibrational aspects. The ascension symptoms are gonna change very dramatically and it's gonna feel very different. Everybody's ascension system, system symptoms are different based on where they're at in their vibrational story, based on how much they're allowing themselves to integrate lessons. Are they working on what they've learned? Are they reflecting? Have they learned the lesson this way, that way, this way? Are they looking at things from a multidimensional perspective? Um, can they see themselves going deeper in a certain practice? Reconnection with spirit and your higher self and your soul on different levels, calling in your ancestors to work in more profound um, divine ways. So all of those things are infinite ways that we can move through our ascension process. Ascension process is a cycle of releasing and healing and integrating so that you're constantly moving in a beautiful spiral within all of the ascension energies that are being offered to us on a multiverse perspective. We are moving into these um, paradigms where we will be helping harmonize and assimilate those from other planets and other contact centers um, because they're going to be part of our um, touch points, if you will, for the universal um, ascension. So we're integrating and helping assimilate beings of other planets and other galaxies, people like myself, <laughs> um, because I've chosen to be um, a multidimensional assimilator. I'm helping beings from all aspects of life um, assimilate to these new energies. So there's many beings that I'm in conscious contact with, and sometimes in my higher self is doing it, and sometimes in my sleep time where I'm connecting with these beings to help prepare them to come to earth, as well as um, helping humanity assimilate to receive their multidimensional first contact. So there's a lot, 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 lot going on. And why sometimes you wake up tired <laughs> um, because you're doing a lot. So this is what we said about working smarter, not harder, um, because the um, I've been noticing myself in my private sessions and um, even in my in my styling, I'm working really, really fast. And sometimes I have to remember those before me aren't necessarily on that same oscillating rotation. And so I have to watch myself, um, you know, and spirit is showing me um, little things that I can do to turn down the gauge so that I'm working at a grounded pace that is um, comfort to everybody. But I've also asked for um, higher vibrational audiences and higher vibrational experiences so that I'm not feeling as if my energy and my gifts and my skills are, um, you know, being wasted on those that don't care and don't want my gifts, but they're just watching me because they want to stalk me and harm me. <laughs> so everything is being shifted and moved so that I can be of the highest benevolence for those that truly need my gifts and my skills and will honor them in equal kind and as well as pay for them because there's been a lot that has been taken advantage of and um, it's not going to, it's not continuing that way anymore. <laughs> that's kind of had spirits put a stop to that because I deserve to receive. It's my turn to, re to receive. It's my turn to know that and have others know that I'm very gifted and I'm very talented and I'm worthy of receiving everything that I've put out because it's been so unconditional. Um, 
So there's going to be something, something come up for each and every one of you about um, who are you um, as regards to the new alignment to ever um, quantifying the light that you're allowing yourself to. And because light is multidimensional, it can't be put into a series of, well, I mean, the celestials do, they know exactly how much light they're offering us and they have exactly the codes that is equal to each person. I say codes because it's very unique and individual. What you have from um, a code, um, any codes that you have from say the Arcturians, if the Arcturians offer you codes, it's gonna be unique to what your DNA is ready to be activated on, what your body can um, process in those codes and what your brain has been prepared to understand. For, ins for instance, when you're going through a next level up and they said to me, you're preparing yourself for extra sen extraterrestrial sensories, meaning that how your 3D mind used to think is not how the multidimensional mind and brain thinks, which means that your thought patterns have to be rewired. So that's what's really going on in your light ships, mostly at nighttime, because it's the biggest part of, um, you can help it during the day. So if you wanted to have a session with me, my contact information is below. Um, sometimes that's a part of your ascension symptoms when you think that you're, you're um, losing your mind or you're going crazy or you can't remember things. And it's, and it's things that you can't really understand why you're writing certain letters backwards or forwards. Your mind is putting letters before that the sentence is even finished. So again, linearity is being already written. <laughs> when I was writing a sentence the other day, I was writing things in the different orders. It wasn't linear anymore. So that's how I know. How I know that linear is releasing from me is because and um, because I'm being prepared to bilocate and do these things that I already know how to do under the realms. So I know that I'm prepared for it. So it doesn't freak me out. <laughs> um, and I'm doing this because I'm sharing it with all of you. Um, how you know you're leveling up and how you know you're expanding because your your 5D mind won't think like the 3D. When you're writing things and you're writing putting words in that have already ended the sentence because you already know what the sentence is and you're writing that that word first because your mind is letting go of linearity. So your mind wants to. Think as fast as your higher self is harmonizing you two and your speech and your words and how you're going to express it is going to be different because it wants to be faster. It's not as efficient writing linearly, letter by letter, sentence by sentence. You want to manifest an experience for you to have your extraterrestrial sensory perception so that you're speeding up how your brain is already thinking. Otherwise, it's a very, it can feel very frustrating and monotonous. And that's why sometimes high of how are many of our children, many beings that have like Asperger's and all of these beautiful energies and beings and, and ways that we've compartmentalized them and defined them and high, high functioning autism. And they're much different than what we thought. Their brains and their functioning is at a different space and place. What is being activated is a different place and space. So their minds can take on information that others can't and yet they get defined because the minds that are telling them who they are have just made these boxes and criteria that don't fit who they are because they're not thinking multidimensionally. They don't know multidimensional. They're a 3D mind of a psychologist or a professor that says, this is what this is. Let's, let's make this this. And doctors and people that don't know multidimensionality, they don't get it. So everything needs to be rewritten so that we're incorporating everything that we are and all that we are from a multidimensional perspective. Test the DNA all you want. The DNA is multidimensional. Our cells are multidimensional. And we will have devices in the future that will show this. And therefore, thus then, we are multidimensional and everything that is multidimensional is spirit, is the Christ consciousness, is metatronic light. And so that's how we start working in our healing, is to see it and know it and understand it that way so that we're going beyond the definitions and the structures that have kept nothing but boxes over us and in us. And so part of that, that linear disappearance is that you'll understand things being conceived, interpreted, and written or expressed in different ways and just working through those kinks. So again, I've offered you in the last couple of months how frustrating it's been for me. As I'm doing a channel, there's five or six things that are being downloaded at once and I'm that window is open, if you will, but my mouth can only explain things in certain ways and I can't capture the whole story. But as a Christ conduit, you know that everything is in your field. If you wanted to tap into one of those six things, it's gonna be there for your highest and for your best because your teams will always give you what you need when you need it for the highest and the best. Um, and if you're working from a malevolent point of view and you're trying to remote view on somebody because you want to know what they're doing and you want to get all the details of their life because you don't understand respecting boundaries and you don't understand um, when someone says no, it means no. 
and you're not respecting the right use of free will and you're not respecting energy and you're not respecting non-interference, then spirit will have those blocked and your gifts will be taken away. And you won't be allowed to have, to find their energy. You won't be allowed to find their field and you will be blocked and you'll have to sort it out yourself. Because if you're taking the free will of someone else when they have said no countless times and you're disregarding their free will to not want the constant energetic um, pummeling, then spirit will do the same for you and the higher self so that you understand how to work it out, how to suss it out and how to heal. You shouldn't be codependent on anybody to go and find out their details and their privacy so that you feel okay and that you feel secure. Everybody must do this for themselves. And that is going within, seeking spirit and God within so that you don't have to create crime and you don't have to um, create a whole bunch of karma. You don't have to create a whole bunch of unnecessary garbage and damage because it will come back. You can simply understand universal law, be in accordance of the universal law, be in accordance of non-interference, and you can have everything that God ever wants to bring to you. Crime is not necessary. Everything is healable, period. And I will say that on every video until those who so desire can go within and do the healing that's required. Because the constant spell tax and, and the, the spiritual warfare, it will all be blocked and stopped, period. Everybody must learn the new universal laws. Right use of free will, non-interference. Focus on your own path. Go within. Focus on your own healing. Go within. Ask your guides. Ask your, your teams. Go within. Set out your daily healing, your daily clearing, your daily alignments. And that's all that's really needed. Everybody's path in that will be unique. They're very simple tools and very simple formats, and everybody's path will be unique. Everyone has unique gifts. Everyone has unique skills, and it's up to each person to go within and allow those healings, to allow the integrations, to allow the light to, to be a part of their world, and everybody's path in that and of itself will be different. The healing will be different. The timing and the pacing will be different. The gifts will be different. That's why everybody will be needed. There's no need to harm or pummel anyone else to get what you want. And that's why the crime and the corruption and all those that have been taking advantage of innocent people will be shown because it needs to be faced and it needs to be healed. And thus we can expand. So playing the games and thinking that nobody can see you and playing the games behind closed doors and having little tactics and little schemes, spirit is everything and everywhere. There's no longer going to be allowed the harming of innocent. We are one. What you do to another is what you do to yourself. So go within and heal the wounds. Heal the wounds. It's everybody's responsibility. The one affects the all. So let's heal. Take a breath and choose who are you. Are you one that will choose a healing story, an expansive story? It's all choice. And everybody has their birthright to explore divine, healthy, and safe paths. Everyone has the right to walk peacefully. Everybody has the right to walk alone if they so choose. Everyone has the right to get a divorce if they so choose. Everyone has a right to play with loving energy, with permissions, with non-interference, and with respecting everyone's path if they so choose, and to be left alone. We all have our rights to express freely, creatively, and safely without harming anyone, and all will be brought to you. That is the respect of oneness. And it's a very, very, very important, 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 and vital, vital expression of truth that each and every person will move through every single ascension cycle, because you'll be tested by different energies, by different entities, by old systems, by old systems of corruption, by those that wish to control, by those that wish to take, and you'll be tested. Who are you? Are you standing in your truth? Are you attracting truthful people? Are you wanting to put out truthful experiences? Are you aligned with the higher self? Are you aligned with your benevolence? Are you offering in benevolence in respect of the greater good? Are you tapping into spirit? Are you offering spirit? Are you offering for everyone to be encouraged? Are you offering for everyone to be empowered in who they are? That is spirit. Spirit would never ever ask you to harm or to sacrifice or to create humiliation services or anything of the like. So discern, who are you? 
your spirit. Your body is spirit. Your body deserves your respect and your loyalty and your nourishment and your honor and your sacredness. If your parents did not provide that to you, now is your chance. Release victimization and stand in your power. Be the mother and the father that you wish you would have had, could have had because you can. That is your alignment of the Christ. It has nothing to do with religion. It's who you are as a sacred child of the all. The all is possible, eternal life. That is truth. That is universal truth. We are the all. And there is no crime or harming another ever necessary to receive abundance in any and all ways. What are your beliefs? What are your values? What is really important to you? The value of beauty and a beautiful body. What does that mean? You don't need to have anything altered on your body to be beautiful. And if you feel that and think that, then review your beliefs and self-value and self-worth. Anything that you do to your body is a wounding of the soul. And there might be beliefs that you might feel necessary to have these manifestations of changing and altering your body, but they are, again, simply beliefs. You were born with everything that you need to feel absolutely perfect and be perfect in all ways. So what are your beliefs about your own perfection and value and worthiness? Do you fit inside your body? Or is it a belief? Or is it something you've taken on or an imprint? Or is it something you've asked to be transmuted for your lineage, for the collective, for the imbalances, for the subjugations? These are why we are evolved beings and of higher intelligence so that we do not keep degrading who we are, so that we don't keep degrading and devaluing our beautiful, beautiful bodies that are spirit. And we can transform our bodies through our own inner work. Because everything is spirit and everything will be known as spirit and the miracles and the first contact and everything that will be transmuted as spirit of spirit. That will be shown. Your body can alchemize anything if you so choose. You can start to begin a more youthful enterprise with your body and commandmentship, if you so choose. There is eternal possibility and potential that each of us have to tap into. And how fun is that? Why can't we start redesigning things right now? We can. Things are going to start accelerating, dependent upon how able and willing are we to let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go. The past is done. It's not there anymore. You're harmonizing, you're harmonizing all these new soul fragments. And these soul fragments want to come and play with you. Your body wants to be a part of this beautiful ride. Are you preparing your body? Better eating habits, nourishing yourself, getting more sleep, tuning in with spirit, tuning in with the planet. What is your desire? What is your desire? What is your desire? How do you want to co-create? Your desire has nothing to do with anybody else. Because if you are, then you're still working within the lack of self and you need other people to be healthy and happy. And that's not true. What are you excited about? What do you want to create is only you and spirit. And that is where you begin. That's that first initial self-design. Who am I? I want to create, I want to be this eternal crowd. I want to tap into energies I've never tapped into before. Let's go. You don't need anybody else to do that. You don't need anybody else to channel spirit. You don't need anybody else to bring out this beautiful idea that so many people can benefit from. And so to you. If you're going to put out something that the, that the collective will benefit from, you absolutely know spirit's going to make sure that you'll be, you'll be, you'll have your own abundance. If you're giving so unconditionally and you continue to give unconditionally, you continue to give without receiving, you continue to give because it's just who you are. Make no mistake about it. Spirit will ensure that you get your good karma. The universe is balance. The universe is balance. If there's one side, there's got to be another. So spirit knows exactly who's put in what. How light is your heart? So they're very simple things, very beautiful, simple things. But it's about our shifting of our mind and our perspective. And it's coming really fast in our collective. It's so exciting to see. Um, I saw an article just on the paper as I was in the grocery store lineup. And it was just like, wow, that's like monumental. That's never been talked about before. That's really a big step forward. It's what we've been talking about for the last year. Crime is not necessary. How can we start looking at things in a different way? There's got to be healing at the core of every issue on our human culture. Every issue that has ever been created, crime, corruption, violence, hatred, hate crimes, all of those things is about the redesign of self and creating all that oneness within. That's it. Every crime, every aspect of debauchery, every aspect of our imbalance in our society is the lack of self, the separation of spirit, and redesigning who you are based on you. You and spirit, you and spirit, you and spirit. 
And of course, everybody's at different consciousness levels. So that's why it's such an exciting experience. Not to judge anybody for their soul path, but to state very clearly what you are willing not to entangle with and engage with. And once you've said that, then carry on and move on. And spirit will make sure that the distractions are moved out of your way. Because that spirit's promise to you. If you're promising yourself that you're doing everything in your power to evolve and you're constantly being um, being damaged and bullied and pulled back into these lower vibrating games, spirit will make sure that those distractions are pulled out of your way. Just work with your fields, work with your bodies and ensure that you're loving yourself as much as possible. You're being the example. Because none of that damage is necessary. None of those tower moments that people are experiencing are not necessary. None of it was necessary. Nothing that happened in the past eight or 10 years has not been necessary. They've been ill-gotten games and gains that are now all being tossed up in the air and lost because of just selfish corruption. It's not necessary. <laughs> and it's, it's why we're here. We're here to rewrite it. We're here to say, who are you? Go within and heal the wounds. Wouldn't that have been easier? So go heal, heal the wounds. Release everything that is controlling, everything. Anyone controlling you, anyone holding anything over your head, entrapment on any level, any level. Sit down, suss it out, and get rid of it. Change it. Rewrite it. Let it go. Nobody has any control over anybody. Nobody has any right to control anybody else. And no children shall ever be harmed. Nobody shall ever go hungry. Because humanity will be helping humanity. We will be assisting humanity. We will be caring for humanity. We'll be creating new systems. Nobody has to be harmed. No person can take so much so that they're so imbalanced and everybody else suffers because of the corruption or the deceit or the withholding or the abuse of power or the abuse of information. And that imbalance must always, always, always come back into balance and spirit will make sure of it. Whatever you think you're taking from another because of your wounds of lack or insecurity or abandonment or rejection, whatever those wounds are that made anyone act and behave out of crime or anger or dysfunction or harm to another, that will absolutely be brought back into balance. It must. The whole universe is not going to tip out of balance because people don't want to face their wounds. So that's what this is about. The rumbling and the shaking, everybody's seeing it. And so face it with celebration. You went through that. Wow, what a, what a great ride. So how can you make something really great out of what you went through? How can you make your mess something really great so that other people can be served? That's what change is for. That's what evolution is for. The greatest of those that have evolved have gone through the greatest challenge. So make it so. Make your challenge really great and have it serve. That's how you know you're clearing your karma because you've faced it. You've owned it. You've been accountable for it. You've been brave about it. Yeah, I'm, I allowed myself to be abused. Why would I do that? Where did that come from? You're clearing lineages of women that were abused. You've cleared lineages of children that were sexually abused. When you claim and own it for yourself and heal it, and you're helping other people heal it, that's clearing your karma and ages and ages and lineages and our whole entire collective of it. That's why we must see what we must see. It's not going to be comfortable, but we can do this. And so this is what they said. That's probably why they said that. <laughs> they knew I was going to, I was going to talk about it. Um, oh, <laughs> there we go. Um, and they, there, we're going to talk about in my next, um, um, the vocational alignment sessions, different aspects of sacred geometry that you're, ha you're, you're harmonizing of the aspects of yourself. And that's a real mind bender. Um, but I've, I actually saw it and it makes sense to me because that's pretty much what I've been feeling. So we're going to talk about that later. So the Socrates of light. A first light. Socrates, a first light. Thank you, Socrates. So now Socrates is coming forward for a fifth dimensional philosophy. Um, because um Socrates was in a past timeline, if you will, but it's all now. So now I'm tapping into. So Socrates says, troublesome times lead to the greatest discoveries and the greatest advantage advances. For you have entrained yourselves to be of small value, but ache to be rich. What is the true richness? Is it of the mind to be open, of the heart to be pure, of the body to be proper, and the soul to be wildly joyful? What is richness? For in then can you lead in fairness? Can you lead and know that you will be well prepared to sit at the table of life? 
And isn't that worthy to be mindful? And isn't that a mindful wish? Of what you think you have lost can never be. For you will always know that God shall eternally show you your inheritance anew. In the leaps of faith to begin again, the light will prove it to you. For in what you think you have lost, only from the form to which was never truly all there was. So when we think we've lost something in form, whether it be a tangible money, a tangible book, a tangible car, a person, a home, whatever you think you've lost, a job, those physical things, they're never truly, really lost because it was only the form that was there. So as your spirit changes, you alchemize differently. You offer something different to the universe. You offer your energy something different and therefore something different arrives. Less physical, if you will, because we're entering into a 5D experience, which is less and less physical. It's more and more light, more and more malleable, more and more plasma. So that was big. So in the leaps of faith to begin again, the light will prove it to you. For in what you think you have lost only from the form to when was never really truly always there. Because remember, whatever there is in matter, there's always much more. So that's basically what Socrates is saying. What you think you've lost, you really haven't. It's changed form. It's different now because your energy is different, wanting something different. So that's why trust what is before you. If something's been taken from you, trust it. That form might not be there, but there's so much there that's different. That's when you've lost somebody, somebody dear to you, you can feel them in your energy field. So they're not really lost. They're just in a different form. It's new life beginning. It's new life becoming. So that tangible matter thing is what we've been so attached to. That's been the superficial realm of matrix. That's what, that's what we've been so um, focused on is that physical thing. And that physical thing gets us really lost. It's why people do really wrong things, create really bad karma because of that fight for the physical, that fight for the thing, that fight for the importance, that fight for the title. And that means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> Your spirit is so much more than that. There's so much more going on that is the spirit. There's so much more going on that is the soul. There's so much more going on that is all that is beyond and be before it and between it and above it. So that is what we're now tuning into. There's so much more than the physical. And that's really exciting. That's going to turn our entertainment world upside down because what we thought we were focused on is really not. It's like a speck. What our universe is, is just a speck of what we think we know. Who you are is just a speck of what you think you are. Your soul is profound and magnificent. Why would you ever focus on somebody else's path? Why would you ever focus on any one item? There's so much more. So what you think you lost, you really didn't. It's only that form that you thought because that form is all you see. Even if you think you love somebody, that love of somebody is only one aspect. That somebody that you think you're in love with is a whole soul. Wouldn't that be more exciting to tap into and turn into? Because if you can't do it of yourself, if you can't tune into your own soul, how are you going to love the soul of another? If you don't know all aspects of you and you've harmonized those aspects of you and you know all aspects of you, you know your shadow inside and out. How are you going to love somebody else? How are you going to love somebody else's shadow? Those are things that aren't comfortable, but that's ascension and that's miraculous because you get to say, wow, unconditional. That's what unconditional feels like. I get to know me unconditionally. I get to love me unconditionally. I get to honor me unconditionally. I get to accept me unconditionally. Therefore, I get that with you. And I'm going to call in that person that also knows unconditional because that's worth it. And that's when you set those standards. No, I'm worthy of unconditional. I'm not going to put up with that. That's really poor behavior. I'm not going to put up with that. I deserve better, period. Friends, family, otherwise, period. So people have to level up to be in my energy now, period. Spirit will make sure of it. Anybody that wasn't there for me before, anybody that laughed and bullied me before, they're not in my life now. They won't be. There's no coming back, period. Play games with magic and spell work. I know it. I've been shown. You're not coming back. Period. Go and heal. There's nothing more to say. I get to set those rules. It's my life. It's my reality. It's my timeline. And I will choose new people. I get to say that. That's my story. And it's pretty exciting because I've worked through it. And I get to say now I have standards. And I'm going to be calling in those that are equally loving and soulful. Equally fulfilling of who thyself is. So again, how can you ask that of another person when you haven't done it for thyself? You can't ask anybody and have expectations of anyone when you have it of yourself. 
What are your expectations of you? Well, I want to I want to be there for my body. I want to allow my body the time it needs to digest and to transform. I'm going to give that to myself. I honor myself that so that I know I can give it to another person. When they're going through something, I want to give them their, their space. I want to do that. So I want to be there for me first. Our whole world is going to be shifting because it's going to be so vitally important and evident and obvious. Self-care is obvious. It's needed. Balancing your chakras, balancing your divine masculine and feminine energies, balancing your beliefs, thought patterns from negative to positive. Everybody has a part to play. The all affects the all. And how exciting is that? You're not small anymore. You're a part of the all. And if that kind of freaks you out, you'll get you'll get through those beliefs because the, the world is so much grander to explore where the animals truly send messages to you and the sacred animals have beautiful stories for you. And all that is above and below and through you and of you and around you, it, it really means something now. It's becoming more matter-like because you're creating it from the energy of who you are. I'm excited about sacred energy. It's all there. And all these miracles and, and entities and beautiful energies from your celestial families and all these planets that have always been there, you start to see them because you're excited about being in life again. How can you ever be bored with life? There's so much beyond the beyond. And we get to be that writer. We get to be that writer now. What do we want humanity to look like? Does policing really have to be policing? Or are we, are we self-governing adults now that really take our ownership of our own healing? If we're taking ownership of our new healing, we wouldn't need the policing that is policing. When we're healing those core issues of self-love and self-design and self-respect, there wouldn't be corruption. So there wouldn't be policing. There wouldn't be self-harm because there wouldn't be policing. There wouldn't be violence and hatred to another because we do just honor and accept one another. Why is there violence? Because one person is of a different religion. Why is that? Why is that a thing? Who says that one religion has any power over another religion to go and kill them? How is that a thing? Do you see what we're saying? When you actually say it out loud, it's ridiculous. It's like we're, we're barbarians and we're really not. We're highly vibrational, highly intelligent people. These wounds must be healed from within and everyone plays a part. What are the judgments that allow such hatred and such beliefs? You can be safe and loving and honoring of thyself. Love thyself, love thyself, love thyself. Set your own design. And know when you're navigating something difficult, you know how to navigate around it. You know how to call in loving energies. You know how to call in beautiful experiences. You know how to call in greatness to our earth because we deserve it. Our elders deserve to be treated with greatness and respect. Our elders deserve to have their stories heard. Why are we not sitting at the feet of our elders? Why are we not talking to Gaia and honoring her biosphere? There's so much intelligence in the biosphere. We don't need billion dollar telescopes to talk to ETs. We got them in the room right here. Do you see what we're saying? There's so much more than we ever thought. So let's get bigger. Let's go bigger. We're much grander than we ever thought. And we can sit back and go, ah, I get it. Boy, what a great ride we've been on. Let's have some more compassion for each other. Let's, let's, let's open up our hearts and start with these beautiful healing systems. Let's start focusing on the healing and expansion now, instead of the superficial gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, winner takes all. Because that didn't get us anywhere, but just a whole lot of pain. The separation game is a lot of pain. And everybody gets to play however they want, because it's free will. But spirit is now putting in place where the innocent aren't going to be harmed anymore. And there will be those that will come forward and speak about it. There will be those that will come forward because the conscious wants them to. Their conscience says, I can't carry this anymore. I want to be healed. Their conscious will come forward because they want to speak truth. They want to say, I want to be a part of the healing now. I want to heal these energies within me. I want to heal what happened. I want to heal what occurred because I want to make it right. Because I don't want to come back in another timeline where I got to go through this again. Because it's just not worth it. You don't have to go through dark night of the soul every day of your life. That's not what living is about. Or harming another. That's not what living is about. Living is loving you fully and creatively and expressively and experiencing all that you can. Because God will offer it to you. There is eternal life that God will offer. Eternal life means you got eternal gifts in everything that God is. And it's miraculous things. It's seeing a flower bloom right before your eyes. It's seeing an ET and a celestial that you've known for other timelines. You say, wow, I know you. Isn't that awesome? You're standing right there. Oh my God, I'm you. 
And you get to see these beautiful beings with such unconditional love that you've never felt before. You'll be on your knees crying. Because that's what love does. Love is not controlling. Love is not hateful. Love does not do spell work. Love does not steal. Love does not damn anyone because they're of different religion. Love does not stalk and bully. Love doesn't do those things. Love says, okay, that's your path. I won't interfere with you. Don't interfere with me. Good on you. Keep, keep expressing, exploring yourself. God's got it all worked out. You just get that. Because that's life. That's universal law. What's before you will be before you. It'll work itself out. Just you set your vibration. That's all that matters. Your vibration is everything. Because that's what your reality is. Your health is. And so they said, um, <clears throat> so let's read that one more time. In the leaps of faith to begin again, the light will prove it to you. For in what you think you have lost only from the form to which was never truly all there was. So you're only losing the form, but that's not all there was. So always think that if something's moving from your life or changing or transmuting, that's not all there was. There's more. That's how fast we're accelerating. That's how fast we're allowing the light to transmute, transform. Because that's not all there was. There's lots more. There's lots more. And there's going to be people coming forward and coming up with these amazing, incredible um, advances out of the most challenging times. That's what these times are about. These are profoundly challenging times, but boy, oh boy, are we going to make it. We're going to rise. We're going to rise and we're going to rise again. Everybody is worthy of change. Everybody will be supported in change if you so choose from a pure heart. If your pure heart is saying, I want to make right on what was done. I want to live in a new way. I'm going to heal my body. I'm going forward. I'm going to create a beautiful new life for myself. A pure heart, you will be supported. And you don't need anyone for that to occur. It's you and spirit. It's that daily inner work. Release what doesn't work. Release what holds you back. Release what is degrading. Release what is limiting. Release what is judgmental. Release it and create new. Every moment is a new choice and a new reality. And as it is, so too are you able to experience it. So again, that's not all there was, but you're able to experience it. You're able to experience that and more. That is the eternal life. That is what Jesus talked about. Life is eternal. The flower doesn't ask how it blooms. It just blooms. So don't ask how it's going to be there. It'll just be there. Trust God. Trust God. It'll move you here and there. Your teams are navigating you anywhere you want to be. That's benefit of the highest and the greatest good. Because they, spirit knows with me, my gifts are meant to touch greater and greater audiences and wider audiences. And that will be met. Those needs and those desires will be met. Because that's my, and that's my inertia. That's my amen. Amen, spirit. Put, put it before me. I'm ready. I'm a healer. I'm a healer. I'm a healer. I'm a healer. I know who I am. I'm a healer. I'm a teacher and I'm a healer. I got great wisdoms. Right? Spirit wants to make sure that I can be in front of as many people as possible because I'm meant to. And so too, whoever else has a gift of anything, don't try and be like anybody. Go within. Who are you? You're meant to navigate your own wonderful path and your own great path. Don't ever try and copy another because you're beautiful and miraculous and you're genuine and unique just in being you. You don't got to copy anybody. Again, go within. Self-love. Who are you? There's so much for our universe. It's so eternal. It's eternal. It's vast. You might not do something for this collective, but a whole other collective. This is what I mean. It's so mind boggling. Why would we be so focused on something so small? Like taking one thing from one person. Why would we ever want to do that? That's why when you understand universal law, corruption will be nil and void. It'll be changed the next day. Because those people that created corruption, they're going to be doing something so profound that it will help heal everything that they ever corrupted. Because they're going to realize, wow, there's like a whole universe. Let's play. Let's follow a few of these universal laws because I know what it feels like to have it come back. Boy, oh boy. Don't want that again. You see what I'm saying? When you put in that effort and you say, spirit, I'm really trying. I'm really trying, spirit. That's all spirit wants you to know. Spirit says, I'm trying with a good heart. A good, pure heart. Are you trying? A good, pure heart, are you really trying to clear that karma because you know it's a lesson that you really want to master? And it's not about it's not about punishment. It never has been. It's about why would your soul choose that? What lesson, what story, what belief did you take on that must be healed? Because you are eternal divine light, period. Everybody is divine. 
what needs to be healed, what limitation, what separation of spirit, what separation of your body and spirit ever allowed you to, to harm your body in whatever way that we do, because I've had many of it. I've had eating disorders. I harmed my body. And I get, to, I get to look at my body and say, wow, look at my body. I'm so in love with my body right now. And I just want to be in love with me. I want to marry me because I'm, I'm so okay with just being on my own right now. Because I'm okay being healed. And I want to explore who I am. I want to explore my own energies. I want to explore my own body. I want to explore my life and my own body, my own energies. I'm okay with that right now. I don't need anybody to make me happy. I don't need any engagement. I don't need any shiny toy to tell me who I am and what partner I am of whose. I don't need to be claimed. And I'm not going to attract somebody that thinks that. I'm going to attract a higher vibrational person that absolutely knows who they are. Because that's who I am. And absolutely, whenever is whenever. I don't care. Because I know I'm okay with me right now. Everything is divine. I get that. But that's for everybody to experience in their own way and really come forward and celebrate it. Celebrate how far you've come to realign yourself so quickly. When it used to take you weeks to realign yourself to a positive vibration, now it's like in a minute, I can do it. Just going to get up and jog around and be happy. I'm going to let that emotion through. I'm going to let myself heal from that. I can realign. Let's do this. I know who I am. God's got me. God's rebuilt me a hundred times. Every morning I get up and think, oh, here we go. No, God's going to rebuild me. Okay, God, let's do this. Let's just realign me. couple of breaths. Let's go. God will rebuild you time and time and time and time again. I am proof of that. Pure proof. And you are eternal light. So who are you? What do you exist within and what exists within you? Get up every day. Get up. Get up. You can do this. Get up. You got this. Start that beautiful conversation, that beautiful entanglement, that beautiful richness of who spirit is within you because you are spirit fully and completely. Your ascension symptoms will be different because you're going to be accelerating in different ways because you're on a different path than anybody beside you. So don't try and compare yourself or, li or limit yourself or compete with anybody else because ascension is ascension. You can't compete. Nothing in spirit can be competitive. That's ego. That's working from the 3D matrix. If you're in competition, you're working from a 3D matrix and why in, in your business vocational alignment sessions, there'll be nothing to do about competition. There just won't be. There'll be no discussion of competition. So that's why the business class is all that's going to change because there's nothing to do with competition. It just doesn't. It's about everybody in their power knowing who they are in their own sense of self. Period. When you offer that fully and completely, that's all you need. Because everybody that's meant to be in front of you, everybody that's meant, meant to be attracted to you, anybody that was going to come to hear your story, somebody that's going to have that offering, that reciprocation spirit will absolutely place because it's a perfect equation. The whole universe is about equations. There's no need to compete and re imbalance it. This universe knows what it's doing. Your vibration will attract exactly what it's meant to. So who are you? What's your vibration? Who are you? What's your song? Who are you? What's your harmony? Who are you? What's your note? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And say your name with pride. Stand and speak who you are. Are you speaking as spirit? Or are you speaking from limited beliefs? What, what level of self-talk do you have in your mind every day? Is it positive? Is it loving? Are you meeting your celestial friends and family? Are you co-creating in love and joy with your human collective? Are you speaking of love and benevolence to Gaia? These are things that will be accelerating. These are the daily self-care questions. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Who are you? Focus within. Heal thyself so your wounds do not become another's. And you will be supported 1,000%. God will assure of it. And God will send legions of beings to heal you, if it so be. God will meet you, meet you in equal measure. It's always equal measure. Divine masculine, divine feminine, equal measure. Who are you? Heal the wounds, judgments, limitations, subjugations. Because whoever steps before you is going to be a version of you for acceptance. Whether they're in a different religion or a different color or a different sex or different species, they are before you to accept. And who are we to say that anything before us is less value? To shoot them and to harm them and to kill them and to say it's a glorified trophy sport. Who are we to say that? That's a lot of unhealed separative issues. 
if anybody thinks that killing and harming someone is okay or an animal. Gaia knows what Gaia is doing. She's going to make sure that balance of our nature is absolute if we believe it so. If we are imbalanced, so too is our nature. If we are imbalanced, so too are our families. So who are you? Be balanced. Priority number one, be balanced. What do you need to do to be balanced? Work less and play more. Heal your body, know your body. What is your body telling you? What is your true intuition telling you? You shouldn't be in a constant state of anxiety. You shouldn't be in a constant state of fight or flight. And if so, clear your field. Talk to your angels, talk to your guides. Be in tune with who you are as spirit, because you are. And that, my friends, is a great start to a great day. Do that three times a day for a full week and see how your life changes. Life-altering tools, and they're very simple. We speak to your higher self. We are never without you. So again, your teams are always with you in the higher aspects. Your higher self is talking to all the beings and all the collectives, what you need now, 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 now. So call on that stuff. And when you're calling on it for a spiritual fulfillment and for your soul's purpose, that's when true power starts. You know that I'm empowered. Wow, I'm helping this. I'm manifesting my whole reality. And it's not about the greed and ego because your spirit was saying, no, that's not important right now. Right now, what's important is you healing that wound. You get your new car later. Right now, you got to heal that wound. You got to heal that belief that says you're not worthy. You got to heal that belief that says you're better than another when you're not doing your own inner work. You got to heal that wound that says your word is better than another word. So, what are those beliefs, egoic, 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 where you thought you had to compete to be the best, to be heard, to be seen, to be valued, to be appreciated? Who's setting those rules? Who says that? Where is that a thing? <laughs> and if and if that is a thing of a society you want to be in, Billy discern is that a society I want to be in? and make your own rules make them new without harm or interference to any other because why would you you don't want people interfering with your life then don't do it to another right remember love thy neighbor <laughs> right isn't that a thing so delighted ones that was the short channel from socrates of the first light thank you socrates now, is there a short little channel and light language message that we're going to give to the beings today of the Holy Light, the Holy Collective? Just take a deep breath and align your back, align your back, align your back. We're going to have the intention of the ascension symptoms, the extraterrestrial sensory perceptions, meaning that how you are going to um, in-gather information, how you're going to process information, how you're going to integrate information, how you're going to send and um, express information, that's all going to be changing. So again, that's the releasing of linearity on how we communicate, what we communicate, and how we're actually using our hands and our fingers again, because everything has to be rewired, if you will. Our hands and our, our conjunctive putting together of things is going to be changing because it's going to be more spirited. Um, how we put things together is going to be more spirited. There will be a point where we're going to move things with our minds and put things together with our minds and our higher mind, if you will, and the energy of using energy benevolently. That's how we'll be co-creating things. They won't be with physical matter things. Um, we're going to be doing it and it's manifesting from thought. So this is why we must allow ourselves the reintegration and the rewiring so that we're allowing these new ways of communicating to be more efficient, if you will. Um, and so we wanted to go back to that because um, I'm starting to um, interpret and create new languages. I'm starting to interpret and create new ways that we learn and, and we express. And they're highly efficient as opposed to reading from page one to page 495 in a textbook. So how we educate and how we learn down the road will be much different because our minds will be capturing greater information and oscillating at greater speeds. And therefore the learning mechanisms will be much different. So they're showing me um, a classroom right now that's in the higher realms. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And the, the instruction is um, express um, as, as, as is creative expression and tuning into the multidimensional fields of um, intuitiveness and learning from the fields of uh, vibration, learning into the fields of threads and songs of various aspects of life and really tuning into it and feeling the experience and the expression from oneself of thyself, because it's all your oneness with spirit and God and within the all. And so that's the micro macro and how to become more in alignment of your own truth and excitement. Remember, it's not about anybody else, but in your own truth and excitement, the all is served. So as you're expressing your truth, as you're expressing your, your beautiful expression of excitement of who you are as a soul, everything is served. And that ripple goes through to all creation and the whole of creation have expanded. 
in doing so, in being so. Why speaking your truth is so very powerful because it clears out your chakras. It clears out the fields of density through which deceit and withholding and corruption was done. So this is why each and every person is responsible for clearing out all of the karmic timelines of corruption and deceit and withholding and all those things that we no longer need anymore because we're manifesting in a much faster high evolutionary state. And so they were showing me earlier as I was writing and I was finding, oh, this is strange and odd. As I was writing things down, the my letters were, and I, I remember I had this, um, um, my uncle had had done a um, an exercise of writing a thesis about me in, I don't know, I think it was seven. Um, and one of the, one of the comments that he made was my letters being switched around. So my mom thought I had dyslexia <laughs> because I would often get letters and, and things mixed around. But what they showed me when I was reading that thesis was that my mind was um, interpreting um, things in a way that was not conceptual to me. I was not conceiving of the letters in the way that I was communicating because to me, it didn't sound or feel like that. So the vibrations of how they sound and feel and what you put to paper are not what traditional people say is right or wrong. And that's why we're getting rid of those ideas of teaching and learning. We'll be teaching and learning through light language because it's a hard, it's a far more efficient language. We'll be learning and, and teaching by crystals. Um, that's a far more um, vast way of learning and being. Um, and so all of those experiences will help us manifest a new life, help us manifest new things, will help us manifest new experiences of being human and spirit. Um, because we're creating our new um, uh, learning systems, which are extrasensory, extraterrestrial sensory, um, because it's not going to be linear. It's not going to be A, B, C, D. It's going to be a new language, a new vibration. It's going to be a harmonic vibrational alphabet, if you will. Um, and so there'll be new words and there'll be new things that we'll be able to create and it'll be much more efficient, um, saving um, us so much um, the time and energy and creating a long lasting life because we've, we are putting our energies and love and excitement into new things. So our bodies are healthier and we'll be able to live longer because we're living in full joy um, in that now moment, creating so many great things. And so that's the huge thing that we will see first is communication because that's how we express and sense ourselves in the world is through communication. Communication is so powerful. It's going to be the biggest part of our reality switch and shift. How we communicate to one another will be different. It will be shifting because it will be um, more dynamically multidimensional. And our, as we shift multidimensionally, so too will it be for healing, as we've been talking about forever, but now it will be seen and felt more because, wow, if this is how I communicate now, can you imagine how I can heal? I mean, if communication is everything in our reality, songs are communicatory, entertainment is communicatory, our imprints on our social reality, the field, if you will, and if you wanna do studies on the field, there, it's there, the field is all source creator. It's all our energies, our vibrations. And those source imprints have effect on us. It's a communicational field. Um, the vortex, the grids, the biosphere, everything is communicatory. And so we're now tapping into those higher vibration aspects. So if we're calling in those vibrational aspects that are seventh dimensional, sixth dimensional, 12th dimensional, and we get to harmonize those aspects just as we're healing the shadow aspects of us. So it's all one, it's all needed. That aspect is needed for this aspect. That's what we're remaining in balance of. And that is the balancing of the universe. That is why we're bringing Gaia into this new galactic bedding. She deserves to be balanced. Gaia deserves to receive peace. Gaia deserves to, see a, deserves to have a collective upon her that doesn't degrade her and deplete her in every way. Gaia deserves to have a collective on her planet where there's no wars. Why is that a thing? When we say it out loud, it just doesn't seem even plausible why those things would even be a thing. Gaia deserves to have a collective that love her, that tune into her because she nourishes us. She gives us breath. And that's the part about humility I was writing earlier. Everything that is everything is spirit. And anytime we think that we are all knowing, anytime that we think we are knowing of everything, we will be humbled in a moment because spirit is showing us that's just the speck of the iceberg. Like the infinite is infinite. There is no end. And so why you can never, ever hold yourself above another. Hold everybody high because we are. We have no right to take a life on anything in any way because we're equal. And there would never, ever be a need for any type of weapon ever. Why would we? We're peaceful, intelligent people. 
We can manifest abundance and love and health and healing in every way. Each of us are held safely, are we not? So manifest the earth. Manifest this beautiful experience that you know you are and you can. We're shifting. We're changing, dear lighted ones. Who are you? Peaceful and loving and divine and sacred. Your body is spirit. Your body is spirit. Your body is spirit. How may you see spirit in all things? How may you know of spirit in all things? How may you know as your brothers and sisters as one? How may you know the challenges are the greatest way that you can see and know and experience and express yourself and explore yourself as the new advance, as the new enhancement to humanity, as the new lesson of peace, of unity, of oneness? How can you claim your story and make something great out of it so that you can help another? How can you claim your voice and instead of being afraid to speak who you are, challenge yourself and make a book of it? Make a song of it, make a story of it, make a print of it and share it with another who's who's hurt, who's in need. This is humanity helping humanity. So stand up, dear lighted ones, who are you? And in that, dear lighted ones, may you go in great peace and goodwill. And we're ex experiencing a beautiful new, ex new um, um, example of our oneness because there's great things coming as far as our communication process the celestial teams that we have and we're working with. Um, you can do affirmations at night before you go to bed. And if you wanted to book a private session, my emails are below your vocational alignment sessions, creative consulting sessions, private intuitive healing sessions. Um, I also do light language gifts, glyphs of artwork, sacred art um, that are multidimensional and movable as you are. And there's also communication um, sessions where in which we talk about light language and we communicate in higher vibrational ways if you wanted to test and work on your light language and your communication skills and you're tapping in with your spirits. So there's many things that we offer. It's just a matter of dropping me an email and we can start out um, a, a price and a time. Um, my website will be up in the very near future. Um, we're moving through some beautiful dynamic galactic shifts before we launch it. And we're wanting to make sure the bedding is proper and appropriate for the highest vibrational audience that have the purity of hearts to move through these beautiful healing sessions and to take advantage of our beautiful light work and take advantage of our beautiful healing, off healing offers and services. So we thank you so much in the divine elegance of who you are as the Holy Spirit. See your planet as one, see your people as one, because we are. Set the standards and the boundaries that you need to move about life in a safe and loving and beautiful magnetic way with you and the Holy Creator honoring yourself in the miracles and the majesty of who you are as spirit. Stand firm in who you are as love and light and know that all is love and all is light and you are an eternal being. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And we say good night and namaste, dear lighted ones, and we love you so. Thank you, Holy Light. Into the ground. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we thank you for this beautiful, exciting new way that we can move forward in this beautiful new exploration of 5D Earth. We're so excited. Thank you, Delilah. We love you so very much. Rainbow hugs and rainbow kisses. Bye.